Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Hilary Booth and I'm a naturopathic doctor and welcome to my video blog. This week I'm going to be giving you a challenge of four different health goals that you can choose from and that you can commit to for the next 30 days to get you going with what I started off with last week about achieving your New Year's resolutions. So this is meant as giving you a bit of a springboard, a jumping off point of where to start, how to do it, and to really keep you accountable for your actions. And the way I'm going to keep you accountable is by asking you to pledge one of these four challenges by writing it in the comments section below. All you need to write is, I'm doing challenge number one, or I'm doing challenge number two, and that is an absolutely wonderful way of having you be part of something bigger than yourself, knowing there are other people out there doing the same challenge that you are, and also making sure that I'm holding you accountable as your naturopathic doctor or as the person that you watch on video vlogs every week. So, challenge number one is called the detox diet. So this might be a challenge for you if you overindulged over the, the holiday season, maybe you had a little too much alcohol or sugary snacks, some Christmas cookies, maybe you had a lot of gravy soaked dinners and you feel like you really want to reel things in with your diet. So the way to do this is we're going to spend the next 30 days and it's up to you as to how intensely you want to do this. So eliminating any combination or all of the following foods, gluten, dairy, sugar, alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, or grains. So I'll say them again, gluten, dairy, sugar, alcohol, grains, processed foods, uh, or caffeine. I think I got them all there. So you are going to choose any combination of those that you think is gonna be achievable for you. So maybe that's just gonna be alcohol and dairy, and that's it, and you just take those out of your diet and you work with that for 30 days, and that is fantastic. Um, maybe for you though, this might be too challenging, and if it is, that's okay. Recognize that, be okay with that, and instead make another goal. For example, you're gonna eat six vegetable servings per day every day for the next 30 days, or maybe instead it's you're gonna pack a lunch for yourself every day that you go to work over the next 30 days. So either way, any changes to your diet, no matter how big or how small, if they're in a positive direction, are gonna help with um, memory, mood, fatigue, sleep, with um, brain fog, your skin, your hair, and your nails, tons and tons of great things can happen here. Now, if you're looking for an, a little extra kick to your detox diet, if you want to make this your challenge, is I would recommend coming over to see me as a naturopathic doctor, and I will give you a specifically tailored treatment plan to help you detoxify the body with a little extra kick so that your body can really churn through those toxins and you can start off the year feeling great. Challenge number two is getting into shape. This might be for someone who is... Um, you know, hoping that by swimsuit season, they're looking their best, they maybe want to lose a little bit of weight. This also might be someone who is very used to going to the gym all the time, but wants to really amp up your, um, your gym and your fitness goals. So um, this challenge, basically, if you have a weight loss goal, I would recommend um, maximum of two to three pounds per week, which equals about uh, 8 to 12 pounds over the next 30 days as a maximum amount or else you end up getting a rebound um, weight gain after you're done, which nobody wants. So this is a way of making it more of a long-term solution. If you are an avid gym goer, I would recommend making very specific fitness goals. So maybe that's a 15K run by the end of um, the 30 days or maybe it is bench pressing or squatting a certain amount of weight. If you're not a really avid person who goes goes to the gym avidly, I should say, uh, what I would recommend doing is joining a class or a group to help keep you on track and get you motivated and excited. So there are lots of yoga studios offering $40 for unlimited 30 days of yoga. That's a great way of doing this. Or Pilates are doing the same. I actually saw a swimming pool that was doing that um, over, over the January month. So you can look into those kinds of options for you. Don't worry about what's going to happen after 30 days. Just focus on the 30 days. And what I want is this. Four days per week of exercise for 60 minutes minimum of those four days for a total of 30 days for your month. So again, that's four days per week, 60 minutes per session, 30 days of doing this exercise challenge to get to your fitness or weight loss goals. So this is a great way to get back on the workout train and to get excited about um, getting back to the gym or being more physically active again. 
Challenge number three is a little bit more uh, unique. This one is called Living Clean. This challenge is for anybody who's looking to get rid of the toxins and chemicals and um, cancer-causing agents, hormone disruptors, all those things that are so common in our daily lives. So what you're going to do is use the next 30 days to change over your household products and your self-care products into more um, natural products. So what you're going to be looking for, um, you're going to be reading your labels with a microscope. What you're looking for is the shorter the label, the better of the ingredient list. And as well, you're looking to avoid products that contain phthalates, anything with the word fragrance, any dyes, um, anything containing sulfates, or anything containing parabens. And what you'll start to notice is this is present in tons of places. And I would recommend you watch my environmental toxins video for more info about this. But there are a couple places that you can start. So you may want to start with just changing over your shampoo, your soap, and your conditioner. Um, that's a really great place to start. I really like the Live Clean brand. It's available in most drugstores. And um, it's a really great starting point for switching over into healthier self-care products. You could also try to pledge instead to switch over your household cleaning products. So this might mean buying greener dish soaps and laundry detergents. It might mean looking up things online. You can Google it and you'll find tons of different household cleaning recipes um, online. For example, vinegars and baking sodas and lemon it are all really, really great um, things that you can use to clean the house without all the toxic um, chemical exposure that you get otherwise. You could also pledge to change over to natural makeups, cleansers, um, face creams, and deodorants. And you, I would recommend checking out your local health food store for some really, really great products there. Um, again, you're looking for anything with the labels uh, fragrance, phthalates, dyes, parabens, or sulfates to be avoided. And with these starting points, it might be challenging for the first little while to get your body or getting used to using these other kinds of products. But once you get into it, you're going to be so thankful that you did because you're avoiding cancer-causing and hormone-disrupting chemicals in your daily life. So challenge number four is called the Stress Buster. So this challenge is great if you're someone who is go, go, go all the time, you have a stressful job or a stressful life situation, if you um, have difficulty coping with stress, if you experience anxiety, trouble sleeping, or fatigue, um, this can be a really, really great way of getting back to your original kind of more chilled out self and um, kind of finding a more grounded way of going about your life. So this challenge sounds super easy, but it's actually one of the most difficult ones. What you're going to be doing is spending one hour per week for four weeks just as me time. So during this time, you're going to do something that you love to do. Maybe it's going for a walk or having a bubble bath. Maybe it is knitting or reading a book. Maybe it's just sitting outside. No matter what it is, though, there are two rules that you have to follow. This is where it gets a little trickier. Rule number one is that you have to unplug. So when we are using our cell phones, TVs, and laptops, those are all out of the question. We're not even going near them. You're locking them away for this one hour per week. And um, what this is going to do is really allow your brain to go away from those distractions and to really focus on yourself. And this can be really challenging. I know that a lot of people's downtime is often TV or watching movies or something like that. That actually doesn't allow the brain to get that self-reflection and that downtime and that relaxation unwinding period that we're really going for with this exercise. The second rule with this one is that you must be alone. Um, pets are okay, but <laughs> no partners, no children, nothing along those lines. This must be alone time, and a lot of people find it difficult to be alone. And this is because it can be quite challenging because it forces you to have some self-reflection. But that's the entire purpose of this exercise, is to really spend some time with yourself, get comfortable being with yourself, um, get comfortable being calm, and using some time for self-reflection in your life. Now, the way to do this and stick with it is to to schedule it into your calendar or your cell phone or whatever it is and schedule it as though it were a dentist appointment or a naturopathic doctor's appointment, something you're not going to miss. Do not trade it in for anything. Do not give it up for anything. This is something you have to do once per week for one hour is not a lot to ask, um, but you'll be surprised by how often you're going to want to give it up for something else, but don't. So again, this is going to be just four weeks, one hour per week for 30 days of the Stress Buster Challenge.
So let's review my four challenges for you. And again, I, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing which challenge you choose. And if you want to write it in the comment section below or send me a private message about it, that would be absolutely wonderful. Um, so my challenge number one is the detox diet. Remember, you can choose any combination, sugar, alcohol, caffeine, gluten, dairy, processed foods. Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> I'll start again. Um, sugar, gluten, dairy, alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, or grains, or any combination of the above for 30 days. Number two is the uh, getting back into shape challenge. Four days per week, 60 minutes per uh, activity, and a total of 30 days of doing this exercise. And you want to set a specific weight loss or fitness goal for yourself. Challenge number four, three is living clean. And um, this means spending the next 30 days with really revamping and taking a second look at all of your personal care and household products and making sure to eliminate ones that include phthalates, fragrances, dyes, um, colors, or dyes or colors, uh, parabens, or sulfates. And number four is the stress buster challenge. It's gonna be one hour per week for four weeks for a total of about a month, and this is going to be spending uh, time doing something that you love, you have to unplug, and you have to be doing it alone. So again, I really look forward to reading in the comment section below about which challenge you choose to do. I'm gonna pledge to do challenge number two, and that's gonna be getting back into shape. And um, I look forward to uh, hearing all about this over the next week. As always, if you want any support with this or any of your other health um, goals in the new year, Feel free to book an appointment with me by calling the number below or by going to our website at drshaunadaru.com to book an appointment with me there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care and have a great week.